Good evening, I'm Adam Reif. We start tonight in Bellbrook, where a rally was held today in support of a proposed emergency operating levy. That issue will be voted on in May. Two News reporter Caroline Morse live at Bellbrook High School tonight after speaking with people at the rally. Adam, I'd say about 100 people or so showed up to send a message to their own community that some residents are in favor of paying more in taxes if it means their child's education will benefit. Say vote yes! Bellbrook residents joined together Sunday afternoon to send a message to their own community. Residents who previously voted against the levy say they changed their mind. Well, I was against as I told you because of continuing levy, and that shuts the people out. But now this levy, there's nothing shutting you out. They can go in and ask questions and they'll get answers. Ralliers encourage others to vote in favor of the emergency operating levy, one that will fund over $3 million to the school system. Now the funds will come from a proposed property tax increase on residents. Um, as a taxpayer, I believe that spending a little more on our schools, just like we do with our military, our first responders, it's an essential to have quality education. That important, it's that foundation that our children need and deserve. If the levy isn't approved, ralliers say the school system's resources will continue to decline. And that will basically keep the, the, the school district from sinking. You know, right now the ship is sinking, the house is on fire, whatever the analogy you want to, to draw with it. The vote on this emergency levy will take place on May 4th. Live in Bellbrook, I'm Caroline Morse. Two News, working for you.